Welcome to the Crochet Tutorial with Cozy Rosy UK. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a popcorn stitch. So what I've done is I've started by making a chain of 12 um, and then I've worked back along the chain in the second chain from the hook, placing a double crochet or an, a US single crochet into each of the chains along, which gives me a total of 11 double crochets to work in. We're going to start today just by chaining one and turning our work. We're then going to place a double crochet into this first stitch just underneath that chain and then we're going to begin our popcorn stitch. So into this next chain we're going to place four treble crochets. So we're going to begin by yarning over and inserting our hook, yarn over to draw up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So we're going to place a further uh, three treble crochets into that same stitch. That's two, three, and four. Okay. So once you've done your four treble crochets into that same stitch, we're going to just draw this loop up and withdraw our hook. So this is number one. We're gonna count back four stitches. So one, two, three, and there's number four. We're going to just pop our hook underneath both those loops and just pop that loop that we pulled up and just tightly pull on the working yarn. We're then going to allow that hook just to pull through, back through that fourth stitch there, and it creates the popcorn stitch. We're then going to double crochet into that next stitch to secure. And we're going to place another popcorn stitch into this next loop, uh, stitch, sorry. So yarn over the hook, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two to create your first treble crochet. We're going to place a further three treble crochets into this same stitch. And number four. Okay. So we're going to gently pull on our hook to draw up a loop. And we're going to just count back four stitches. So one, two, three, and four. We're going to insert our hook underneath that stitch from back to front. Because on this occasion, we're working on the wrong side. So the wrong side of our work is facing us. We're going to just place that loop over your hook, pull on your working yarn to tighten, and then we're going to bring this loop on our hook through that stitch and just work a double crochet into that next stitch. Let's place another popcorn stitch into this next stitch. So we begin by yarning over and placing four treble crochets into that next stitch. Two, three, and number four. Draw that loop up, count back four stitches, one, two, three, and four. Pop that hook through from back to front and pop that loop on your hook. Pull on your working yarn to tighten that loop and just bring that loop through that other stitch. Double crochet into the next stitch. We'll do one last one together. So yarn over to complete four treble crochets into that next stitch. Three and four. Pull on your hook to draw up a loop. Count back those four stitches. One, two, three, and four. Insert your hook from front to back. Pop that loop over onto your hook. Pull on your working yarn to tighten. Bring that through. And then double crochet into that next stitch. I'm going to just show you what would happen if you were working on the right side of your work, what you would do differently. So I'm gonna just undo this stitch here. 
So this is my double crochet. So I'm just going to place those four treble crochets into that stitch again. Two, three, and four. So again, draw that loop up, but this time, just to show you the difference. So one, two, three, four. If I insert my hook from front to back, put the loop on the hook. Oh, let that happen. This is why we do it the other way, it's much easier. And pull that through. It puts the popcorn stitch on the other side, but we're not gonna do that, so it's fine. I'm still doing it the wrong way. I'll just do that double crochet and we'll have a look to see how fabulous these popcorn stitches look. There we go, there are our popcorn stitches. <laughs> 